So in example one, if A, if point A is 0, 3, and point B is 1, 5, and point C is 4, 11, show, show that the points are collinear are collinear. So I've used two dimension. We will take an example of three dimension. But what I want us to realize is that uh, these three points, we have agreed on collinearity. One, the points have to be parallel. We have to get two sets of parallel vectors. And two, we have to get what we call a common point between them. So taking this, we can say we have a, b, vector a, b, so we want to test with vector AB. Vector AB in this case can be given by subtracting the column points of B uh, minus the column points of A. So this would be, this would be B, which is 1, 5 in column, and A, and A, which is 0, 3 in column, 0, 3 in column like that. So vector AB is actually, vector AB is actually 1 minus 0, which is 1, and then 5 minus 3, which is 2, like that. So using the same same, we can, same same procedure, we can also get vector AC in this case. And vector AC would be the points of C in column form minus the points of A in column form. So C in this case would be, 4, 11 minus A in this case would be 0, 3. So this will be 0, 3. So subtracting this, we will end up with vector AC as 4. And in this case, this is 4 minus 0, which is 4. Then 11 minus 3. That gives us 8. So in other words, we can say that vector AB is equal to 1, 2, and vector AC is actually 4, 8. So bearing in mind that we agreed that for us to test collinearity, we have to test parallelism first, and then we have to get a common point. So looking at those two vectors, vector A and B, looking at those two vectors, vector A and B, for us to know whether they are parallel, we have to see, is there one which is a scalar multiple of the other? So we'll start with vector AB and say that suppose we have a scalar multiplier K, scalar multiplier K, and if we were to multiply it with the value of AB, that is 1, 2, would we get a common value of K for us to get vector AC, which is 4, 8? Now, Working with this, we'll therefore say that k times 1, which is k, is equal to 4, and k times 2, which is 2k, is equal to 8. Now, looking at this, it is obvious that k is 4. So, meaning that if we multiply 4 by vector AB, we end up with what we call vector AC. So, this will be 4, vector AB, is equal to vector AC. So having done this, it therefore means that vector AB is parallel to vector AC. But are these points collinear? Yes. They are collinear because in vector AB, we have the value of A. And in vector AC, we have the value of A. So it means that these two vectors share a common point A and at the same time, they are parallel because 4 times AB will give us AC. So in our answer, after doing all this, we will say, therefore, so we can say, therefore, when we are giving your answer, therefore, therefore, let me just rub that. Vector AB, therefore, sorry for that. Therefore, we are giving collinearity between points, so you can say, therefore, the points, the points 
A, B, and C. And take note, these are points. These are not vectors. These are just points. A, B, and C are collinear. Collinear. Since vector A, B is parallel to vector A, C and point A is common. And point A is common. Say points A, B, C are collinear since vector A, B and vector, vector A, B is parallel to vector A, C and point A is common. So whenever somebody is looking at your response, that person wants to see these things coming out clearly, the characteristics of collinear points. Are you able to tell us, one, they are parallel, and two, you have to tell us the common point for us to award you full marks on collinearity. Thank <laughs> you.